Hey everybody, I'm Liddell Steiner here with Sam at Long Season Farm. Sam, describe a little bit about where we're at and what you do. Yes, yeah, so we're here at Long Season Farm. We're a certified organic vegetable farm. We're in Kerhonkson, New York, which is in the Hudson Valley. We're here on a property with, I don't know, three or four other farms. Mm -hmm. We've got a organic flower farm, a compost production farm. We've got a seed company that does seed production here too. And uh, we did pick the warmest day, so it is really hot right now, but uh, we are gonna enjoy learning about the Super E. So we dropped the Super E off a couple weeks ago. Uh, our goal was just to provide uh, kind of raw, critical, good feedback about the unit uh, for growers who hadn't experienced it, seen it, or used it before. Uh, I think we gave some minimal instruction to you and uh, Stephen from, the Hudson, Valley seed Stephen from Hudson Valley, uh, but we left it with you guys and we've checking back in now. What are some of your thoughts on the Super E? What are some of the, the pros, some of the things that you've appreciated, any, any challenges you've experienced? Well, our biggest con from everyone who used it was there's no cup holder, but Liddell says that's already fixed. That's so. already standard on the production, okay. That's great. Um, I think the biggest thing we loved was that it's silent. You huh. know, we're always having to wear ear protection to stay safe on the farm and just having silence or near silence when operating this thing was really great. A lot of times when we're cultivating, it's later in the day mm. and there's birds and it's just nice mm. to be able to hear the sounds of the farm other than the roar of an engine. Yeah. Uh, it was also actually, our farm has never had a belly mount hmm. tractor. Uh, so just driving, you know, a proper cultivating tractor with this level of visibility was something that we really liked just being able to see exactly what was going on without turning around all the time. What were some of the tools that you used? Uh, so we've got a bunch of cultivating tools already. So we um, we were only able to cultivate one row stuff with the way the tractor was configured. Yep. So we did some basket weeding of mm -hmm. some one row transplants. So like young pepper plants, eggplants. Uh, and then we did a lot of just single row cultivation of brassicas, um, we did all our winter squash mm -hmm. uh, with this. Those are the ma and sweet potatoes too were nice to do. So we set those up with finger weeders, yep, um, with sweeps in front, and that worked really great. So that's one of the limitations that we have with the Super E specifically is the wheel width. Mm -hmm. And I know we encountered that with you when we talked, and you said I still like to see it and at least use it on something to see if it fits our system. But the the space between the tires is 50 inches. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a bed that's bigger than that, or, you know, crops, it's just, it's not going to be for you. Um, but you know, what, what do you think? I mean, uh, it may not be for your system. Do yeah. you change your system? Is that something worth looking at in the future? We're thinking about it. You know, it's a, it's a project we're going to look at this winter. You know, our other tractors are set up for our current yep. system, which is a 30 inch bed top because we started out doing no-till market garden style mm -hmm. farming. And as we've scaled up, we've kind of kept that same basic system. So our two tractors that we use are set up, you know, to work on that 30 inch bed top. So, you know, we can switch around the wheels on those. Um, yeah. And we're just gonna look at whether it would make sense to switch mm -hmm. to a wider bed, put some of our one row crops in the two row system. Things are growing two rows at a third row. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna look at it this one. Yeah. Um, what are, when you operated it, you know, you had mentioned the, the minimal noise. What was some other things that you appreciate? You, you mentioned visibility. Is there anything else that really stuck out to you that you valued or appreciated about the unit as your operation? Yeah, so the, I was definitely a little apprehensive about the control system because it's mm. very different than either the hydrostatic tractors that we use on our farm or geared tractors that, you know, I've used before. Yeah. So it took, you know, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes to just kind of retrain mm -hmm. the muscle memory a bit yeah um but i liked you know that i could stand up mm. um, and get good visibility on the tractor i liked how easy it was to get mm. on and off yeah i also found it actually very comfortable once i just kind of like got used to mm -hmm. the you know just that it was a different configuration the seat you know just feels really open um yeah, I don't know. It was very easy to get on and off, especially for cultivating. You know, I'm hopping on and off the tractor all the time to see exactly what's going on. And it's very easy to do. We were just talking to Matt and something similar. He was mentioning that uh, he was able to get some of his more novice tractor drivers or people who haven't actually driven the tractor because he's not uncomfortable on this much quicker. And I think that's, as you're mentioning, maybe it might take a little bit to get used to, but once you get used to it, we've seen kind of a ability and uh, allow somebody more to drive this than you might a normal tractor. 
Yeah, and we were in that same conversation. We were talking about the safety factor. You know, it's a yeah. lighter piece of equipment. It has an appropriate amount of power, so you're not like overpowered with all this extra weight that can make something more right. dangerous. So it does feel a little more approachable to mm -hmm. someone who's starting out, yeah. Thank you, Sam, for taking the time to run the equipment, for utilizing it, for, for getting it out here, um, for the feedback. Uh, I know you gave me a few other pointers, ideas, suggestions, which is great and valuable. And I think that'll be helpful for us as we go back and talk to the engineers and just make sure that we get this thing fine-tuned out completely. So. Uh, any final thoughts or words or no it was really fun to have it here on the farm we enjoyed using it and look forward to seeing the finished version but we thought this version was really great okay all right thank you very much and uh we will hopefully see you again yeah thanks Liddell. yep